Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Kick It 47 back with another reaction video, man. And damn, today we got a doozy. You heard me? Diddy, diddy, diddy. Can't you see? Did he do it? Has he done it? Diddy, we need to know what's going on, man. Everybody's talking about it, bro. I don't know what's going on. All I know is Diddy, if you did it, you're Listen, man. But yo, man, before I get started with this video, man, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Certified Tracks. Shout out to Kid Dollar. Shout out to Shook Biggs. You know what I'm saying, man? Y'all doing y'all thing over there, man. Make sure you go check them out, Certified Tracks. But with no further ado, we're going to get into this video. Yeah, let's get it. Nickelodeon new CEO. Did you hear about this? Like, out of no. everybody that could have hired as a new CEO, did you hear about this? No, this isn't. Breaking news. Or go ahead, Rob, play, play, play the Nickelodeon. No, it's not Diddy. <laughs> Nickelodeon oh, just what? announced. What? Diddy hired as a new president of Nickelodeon Studios, according to Babylon Beat. <laughs> Which, <laughs> which by the way, oh my God, very terrible. strategic. Why would Disneyland? Nickelodeon hire Disneyland. Diddy at a time like this? That's kind of weird. <laughs> well, maybe he needs to pay for a legal defense fund. Or maybe it's a satire Babylon website it's a satire. for the people yeah, that are just freaking out right it's now. Babylon V. Yeah. By the way, it's funny. Honestly, they do funny stuff. This is this is uh, you know obviously. It, there's nothing funny about what Nickelodeon did with Schneider, mm -hmm. nothing. And there's nothing funny about what he's doing. But what a interesting angle for Babylon B to take the story to say that Diddy's not going there. Not, let, I, let I, me, I, don't, I don't even know if that's the current picture. No, it's the foot of, of Diddy. Oh. There was a more updated picture yeah, we'll, recently. We'll, 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 <laughs> there he is. <laughs> that's the updated photo of Diddy. That's, I you don't know if you saw that, that and, uh, recently. Antonio Brown posted Listen, that. No, he guys, didn't. Antonio Brown posted that. <laughs> Antonio? There's no way Antonio Brown posted that. AB posted that. Can you go to his Twitter? I, I want to see. Oh Are you saying that oh AB, Liberty, AB City. would never post Liberty, a picture Liberty like that? City. Well, Chris from Value Tech, Chris is like, Vinny, uh, he sent me this and said, There's uh, no way he posted that. Um, Keep going. I believe he did. I believe he did. Can we? By the way, wait, directed, wait, wait, wait. directed oh, by yeah. Dan Schneider. <laughs> you don't oh, understand. Yeah, I didn't see that. Pat, Pat. The soundtrack Pat. is by. What was the soundtrack by? R. Kelly. Jesus Christ. Oh my! Can we address? No, no, no! It's just a parody. The lawyer is it's quiet. Just a parody. Like, I'm no. not getting sued it's for defamation. You guys are going down can, alone. Can we, let's can, keep. Can going. we address some of the legal <laughs> allegations on this? Is this something that we can even? Is that where you're going? Uh, yeah, I'd like to know. Go trafficking. Uh, from a legal standpoint. Trafficking. What this case is even looking like? Have they even arrested Diddy yet? What's what? Like, I know you're not handling this case whatsoever. No. But. Everybody is talking about this. It's yeah. nonstop. Yeah. Here we go. These two uh, stepbrothers are out here. Oh, um, from a legal standpoint, uh, what does this look like? The so, raid, FBI. So, I mean, you know, you're asking me about a raid when I've seen raids happen to my clients that mm -hmm. have no business happening. I understand that there was a plane um, with one of his, uh, they called it his, dr his drug mm -hmm. runner, his 25 year old kid. Going to Antigua. Uh, he was arrested. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know that. I know that obviously there are accusations of trafficking. And you've seen a lot of reels been coming up about, yeah, that's his, uh, that, that gentleman was arrested. Um, his drug mule. Drug mule, exactly. And, um, you know, his, his homes were raided. Obviously, he wasn't arrested. He was, um, on a plane, I believe, somewhere near St. Bart's or in the Caribbean somewhere, and he uh, was able to leave the country. Obviously, there's no warrants out for his arrest. We would know about that. So something is going on. Um, do I necessarily believe everything I see? No. I'm, I've gotten a bit past that in the past three years. So we'll wait and see. And I think everybody has a right to have a, their day in court. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I, I you know. You don't know. You know, you don't know. And by the way, I'm still waiting on the list from Epstein. So how crazy. Yeah. And how, wait, I, you know what I'm look, I'm waiting for? Show us one minute from one of the cameras that he had in his house. Just one of them. Because uh, a, a report came out yesterday that uh, somebody showed a little camera when they did the FBI raid. They were everywhere in the house. But that's little what they do. Camera. That's what they do to blackmail you. I saw I saw it in um, with Trump, with Mar-a-Lago. Um, and I was with the president when that raid happened. I was with him in New York. Oh, wow. And... Uh, I, I was sitting there when we got the call that your home is currently being raided, raided. and over documents, over, doc, over documents, and he had a right to have that Biden didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we're sitting here watching this hypocrisy, and and I have to say, you don't know, you know, he he, I never know, you know, he had an ex girlfriend, I think that was upset or ex fiance, she made accusations, 
They obviously have to do what they have to do to investigate those. Those are serious crimes, sex trafficking, real sex trafficking, anything with minors, I have no tolerance mm-hmm. for. Um, are you talking about so, Cassie? Yeah. yeah okay. I just want to show you two clips. Here's Usher on... Howard Stern. Uh, Howard Stern. Rob, how long is a clip that you have? Is this when he asks him about uh, yeah, puppy this is flavor it. camp? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and play this. Watch it's it. It's about a minute, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait till the end, though. To New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor He's 13 at the time. Let him hear it. Go back yeah, five seconds, right. please. Go back, because what, what he called it right there is what's key. Go ahead. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> Flavor some, Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? <laughs> no, not really. Not I mean, really. Did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were what? 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was 13. Wild. So years nobody old. tried to, mm-hmm. you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't say <laughs> that. What I did say is that there were very curious things yeah, taking place. Called rape. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. When you're 13. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim. Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody C, Mary okay? J. Blige, yeah, good they job. learned about this shit. Oh, <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? You're 13. Are you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, are they keep doing humble ditties. somewhat, so or are crazy. you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. And, I, and, I, and do you, you have money? Up. Okay. How is that no, Like, how you is that normal have, at any time? Do you have the part where they said? Would you let your kids go there? He goes, oh, keep playing. hell no. Yeah. Keep playing it, Rob, because I think it's at the end. Yeah. Per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, yeah, like a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> hell no. <laughs> See? Yeah, that's the thing. Concern I have on. kids. I don't even post. And then, uh, you know, the Twitter hell trolls will no. be, where, where are her kids? Well, I'm protecting them. And, yeah. and, and this is sad. I mean, this is sad. And this one with Bieber. This is the Bieber thing. one? Yeah. Like, where are the parents? Yeah, and what, yeah. Yeah, well, which parent would say, you know what? We don't know you. We know that you're a celebrity. Go and hang out with this guy for weeks on end by yourself. And at what mm-hmm. time, at what era is this cool? In the most critical years, by the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. How is this, Alina? They both this turn. How is this normal? So they both good. turn into superstars. Yeah. That's the sacrifice yeah, you make. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the sacrifice. But one of them had to go to church and he freaking lost his mind. Can you play this one? Mm. How is this normal? He's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. What the? Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and yeah. Jesus. And, oh, and, and yeah, and we're we going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Increase your profit and work less time. That was crazy right there, for real, for real. Which is perfect for print on demand. What? Like, uh, That's disturbing, by the way. Why? That's disturbing. What, what does that have to do with making music? Right. Yeah. That's Absolutely. The, who is this guy, Rob? Who is the girl? Um, I believe this is a former dancer of Diddy's who talks. She doesn't give specifics, but she talks about some of the things that she witnessed while she was there. Play the clip. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have stories. Seriously, we all have stories. Mine is horrific, and only five people know it. Well, you're about to be called and as a I witness. And I probably will so. never tell it. Yeah, no, yeah I, you're about to get subpoenaed. Since yeah. then, I've been like, <laughs> really? yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and she's I also done. am very she's intimately done. aware that you tell your truth, and you become victimized over and over and over and over and over and over. And mind you, I then interviewed him many times. <laughs> There's, I have a lot of stories, y'all. I've been in Hollywood for 25 years, maybe longer, 30. I got a lot of stories. Unfortunately, um, maybe I'll write a book one day. 
Ugh. but it just is so traumatizing that women just want to live every day and feel safe. And when we revisit and revisit, we live in a state of victimhood and nobody wants to live there. So for those who are like, why don't you say something then? Because we just want to live. We want to be happy. And we really want to forget the trauma. So there's that. Well, She's there, not gonna be called. Diddy made a statement um, recently. Diddy's lawyer made a statement. Or this Diddy is something that Diddy wrote right prior to everything was going on. He called it a witch hunt, I think. Yeah, he called it a witch hunt. Yeah. Vinny, you want to read this? Uh, yeah, uh, for the last couple of weeks, and Rob, I just sent you something too, if you could please show that. <clears throat> for the last couple of weeks, I've said silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me, my individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Now, this came out Joy Reid, MSNBC. Uh, this guy said one of his friends was an intern, and look what Diddy said for him to get the <clears throat> Turn job. Check this out. This I saw this last night. Disturbed many years ago. Okay, I I I know this man well enough to call him and say, Hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I call him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Did he talk about Diddy? Uh, I have never talked about this publicly, and Here it I goes. and he said yes, and they were. Flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you, well, why did it end? And he wouldn't yeah. say. And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. And the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh. Like, like think about it. Diddy's calling. The, Diddy said, listen, you want this job? Come, let's hook up. And then you can get the job. And the guy said, no. Like, I, I think it's, uh, when are we going to stop pretending that Hollywood, the music industry, all these people from Epstein, it's not a, se like, it's not a secret, but we all kind of just, uh, like, we brush it away. Mace it's is, a real serious Mace problem. Mace is being interviewed. Rob, just check to see if there's audio music in it or no. This is Mace? Uh, uh, Mace? If you can check. Real Where the hell's he been? Music. God, Mace. So check this out. So Mace, this is Mace in 2002. Okay. He steps away. From He's the guy that stepped away, and look mm -hmm. what he says in this interview. This is 22 years ago. Go ahead. And by the way, Mace is an OG OG guy. Oh, he, in church. he went to church. Yeah. All is well with him. What? Have you spoken to Puff lately? Do y'all talk or what? Well, actually, we not we not really on speaking terms, mm -hmm. but you know, I still pray for the dude, and mm -hmm. I pray that all is well with him. Yeah. Okay. Well, people are supposed to be releasing a gospel album. What what came to your mind when you when you when you? When you heard that, what 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 thoughts did you have? Y'all want me to answer that? I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, can RuPaul put out a gospel album? Can you imagine? Wow. But don't you think that everybody wow. can express themselves? Definitely. And, and if he, mm -hmm. I mean, they can. You ask me. I'm just okay. answering. Wow. I actually, can RuPaul? Create a gospel item. He's basically saying a gay, a gay man can he put out? And Mace is not a, 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 a pushover, lightweight guy. No. This oh, guy, no. Yeah, wow. so I actually Mace, played man, basketball with Mace a couple years ago. I was like, oh, what, what are you up to these days? It's like just with my kids and God, man. Just my kids and God. I was like, good, good. for you, bro. Uh, Rob, I, I don't know if we can play that that TikTok thing we talked about with a guy. It's like a proce procession of. I told this was about to happen. I told it this was about to happen. I told this was about oh, to yeah, happen. Yeah, the one. Story and story and story and story. Look, innocent until proven guilty. We get it. Something's fishy out here with Diddy. Yeah. We all know that. No, More than not. fishy. What do you mean? Yeah. It's in the ocean and there's fish on you. What are you talking about? <laughs> fishy. Out here. Like, and again, why would you stop saying fishy? It's there. Like Epstein exposed it. Epstein got caught and they suicided him in jail. Let's stop pretending this game. Diddy, and I'm tired of hearing the, oh, if there's smoke, there's fire. The house has burned to the ground, bro. Yeah. How many more people is it going to take to be like, okay, he actually... I, I was molested or raped. I don't understand why he wasn't arrested. That's what I'm saying. What, what are we talking about? If, if that's truly, if they had enough to go raid the home, or, you know, we'll see what comes now. So yeah. they arrested people, they raided the home, we'll see what they found, and then, you know, what it is. Yeah. Other, well, is who there knows what they're looking for, pedophilia? Exactly. Like, is there a warrant for him? Because well, we you have, have to get, you have to go to a judge 
and and there's an emergent judge for these kinds of things, and you say, look, we've done an investigation, we've interviewed these people in a special proceeding or, or a grand jury, and we have reason to believe X, Y, Z, we would like to uh, – Go raid, mm-hmm. and then the judge signs off on it. So there yeah. is a procedure for that. So, but, but Lena, and I'm so confused because, like, for instance, the Cassie thing, right? She comes out, she does all these depositions, she does all these things, mm-hmm. and we see she's written it. It's she's deposed whatever uh, affidavit she signed, and she's like, they they drug me, they raped me, yeah. they did all these. Where's these are the DA? These yeah. are crimes. Where's right? the DA? How and, and money just shuts it and it goes away? No, no, pay her, but you have to do time. You have to come and face the legal ramifications for drugging and raping yeah. women. And God knows what he's doing with kids. How does that work? Yeah. How do you- I got a video that I, I, I you know, obviously we're not going to play this video. Okay. Well, but the, not the I'm, we're audio not, one, no, no, please. Uh, of course, yeah. we're not going to play this video. Did, did you get this one? Right no, right the, the video okay. that, uh, there's this video with the audio of a security guy says, I don't drink champagne because he always uh, uh, Spike spikes it. the champagne mm. and All there's since guys it. pass out and then Why? boom. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> Seriously. He I says, I never want to see that vision from you again. <laughs> yeah. And then boom. And then boom. boom. But he, oh, this boom guy who is in the room uh, allegedly it's, it's I think it's me that you can, the video. It's an audio that, recording. It's the audio recording and he's Putting it out on TikTok, it's gone viral. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to play that clip, but go ahead and play this oh, clip, Rob. This is when? This is uh, December 14, 2023. Go ahead. But there's multiple videos. Just play one of them. The first one, Rob. Go ahead. Some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon. This is three months ago. Mm-hmm. They need to get to those tapes. Oh, wow. They get one of those tapes. Yep. With him with those little people that's been making the accusations. Little people. Woo. Man. <laughs> Done. <Wow. laughs> but Puffy, the type here, he'll blow his brains out. Jeez, guarantee holy him. shit! Him. Or do like he did on that that court screw uh, uh, lie. How he did. The next thing that's going to be happening, and uh, after this, is now you're going to start seeing some criminal investigations getting opened. Psychic. And uh, because. When you get too much of the smoke, uh, law enforcement generally gets involved. So that would be the next thing that will be happening to, to Puffy, unfortunately, for his sake. Y- y'all know, I'm one that believes if you ain't getting psychological help, getting some type of help. You can pause right so, there, so, right. so, 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 so let, me, let me ask you guys a question. So th- there's a couple of things happening. When he's yeah, talking yeah. about, and this was in, what, what month was it, Rob? Th- February. Th- so it's January, February, yeah. and March. So January. He's like, he's predicting, which he, uh, apparently he's oh, psychic. He, he, he does multiple predictions yeah, yeah. up until the actual rate. Yeah, he's oh. obviously a cooperating witness. Yeah, oh, for sure. He's for not sure. predicting. So what does he's that mean, cooperating, cooperating witness? Meaning. He's talking to the feds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The fed. yeah. yeah he's There's working. no question that guy's going to be missing. So, so, you know, he's not, he doesn't have ESP. The guy clearly <laughs> right. was yeah. working with the government. Yeah. yeah. And it's not but, Nostradamus. He yeah, has yeah. a deal. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but so there's two things though. When they're saying that they're looking for those tapes, he could be talking about obviously the law, law enforcement, the Department of Justice. I, he, he could also be talking about what about the powers that be? Because the powers that be that killed Jeffrey Epstein, and I'm going to say they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Imagine those phone calls, Alina, where they're like, you pick up the phone, it's like, Hey, listen, this is going to come out. They're going to, he's going to jail. He's arrested. He's in prison. We got to, we have to, he's going to talk because we have the footage. What do we do with him? How much of an option? Like, what's the percentage you guys would put that the powers that be, the real people that are on the stage? Mind you. Like the Boeing guy. Did you hear about the Boeing Boeing whistleblower? Yeah, the guy that was so overwhelmed by exposing them, he shot himself in his head in his car after telling friends and family, I would never kill myself. There's a weird trend going around where when you speak the truth. We're interviewing the Lord. Lawyer in two and a half hours. Oh, uh, I love that. Lawyer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One he's, lawyer? He's, yeah. We're wow. interviewing the main wow. lawyer in two and a half hours. Are but, you suicidal? No. I'm you feel curious. good. No, no. I'm not suicidal. I'm, I'm not no, suicidal. No, no. I love my life. Me too. I love my life. Tom, Me you too, love your yeah. life? Love Very much. Life. Okay, good. <laughs> We're all in agreement on this. Everybody loves life. Thank you. I love life. Love life. We Rob, love life. Rob, you say it too, Rob. Rob, say it. Put your pants up. Okay, there we go. We're all good. All right, man. So there you have it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If y'all think Diddy did it, leave that in the comments, man. Just let me know what's going on. And if y'all want to see some more of this, man, click subscribe, man. And then we're going to keep going, man, because Diddy, yo, all I know, if you did it, 
you're done you're toast it's over for you bro you should have you're not even bro like it's a wrap like i'm not even gonna look no diddy i'm not even calling you bro it's a wrap no diddy it's over for you bro like no diddy like what's going on man anyway man yo it's your boy kk47 i'm out of here man peace